So this was a practice piece and it wasn't working around the side, but I took a paper cutter and I cut it down because these pads are 9 by 12. And I thought, oh, this will make a cool journal cover. Like for me, I, I journal profusely. I'm a really big writer. And so I love to make these homemade journal covers that are from something I've created. And again, these canvas pads are great for that. And I just wanted to show you how I do this in case. What is in that yes book? What is in that? The yes paste? Yes. I think it's wheat based. That's what someone told me. So you could also use heavy gel if you want to make a note of that in your notes. The other thing that may work like this is heavy gel. Now the only thing about heavy gel is that it, it's not necessarily going to dry flat, whereas this Yes Paste, um, their selling point is that when you collage things, it dries flat. So I just glue the back, and this is the same thing I would do if I'm making a card or even a small artist trading card. I would put the gel on the back and then um, glue it on like that. And I do this with the cards as well. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in water so it doesn't dry up on me. And then I take a plastic bag and then I would weight this down and put something over top, like another book or a brick and just let it sit overnight. And voila, you have a really beautiful journal cover that I've had people like, oh, can I buy your journal? No, but you could sell them. You could sell blank journals and covers if you chose to.